That's not uncommon for people to feel aches and pains when the barometric pressure drops, but a therapist in Springfield says mood swings, anxiety, and fatigue are also common in her patients. Nicolette Zangara shows you how to manage it. Lee, thanks. I spoke with therapist Brooke Martin at her practice today, and she estimates more than 75% of her patients struggle with their emotions and mental health when the barometric pressure drops. While she finds this is more common in people with blood pressure or blood sugar issues, this phenomenon happens with physically healthy people as well. One of the biggest things that I've seen is that when the barometric pressure drops, we start to see a huge increase in anxiety, um, depression, irritability. Martin has been treating mental illness and teaching overall wellness for 15 years. She started tracking her patients and their emotional response to pressure changes about a year ago. On a sunny day, the typical pressure in the Ozarks is between 30.2 and 30.5 inches of mercury. When rain or clouds move in, it can drop below 29.9. Anytime it's below 30, my practice usually is a little, a little more anxious. <laughs> As we know, weather is always changing. Martin recommends looking at pressure forecasts and paying attention to big weather changes if you experience fatigue, dizziness, anxiety, or depression when the pressure drops. The best way to navigate these feelings is to work on your inner pressure levels. The biggest thing that I've found that is helpful with barometric pressure changes is getting that blood pressure back up. And so for a lot of people, it's, you know, get up and do some physical activity. Martin says statistics show an increase in hospitalizations, both for physical and mental health reasons, when the barometric pressure falls. If you experience similar symptoms, Martin recommends keeping track of your feelings to find patterns in your behavior. You can also speak with your primary care provider to see what may be the cause.